Yahoo YouTube, I am Super Yankee, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about the hippocampus. Now, the hippocampus is a part of our brain, and it actually means seahorse in Greek. I've read this really interesting article called, Can You Grow Your Hippocampus? Yes. Here's how and why it matters on sharpbrains.com today on my Twitch stream, and it was just so cool because you can actually grow your brain. This stuff is real. It's like been proven by science. I think in the article it was talking about how we form 700 new neurons in our brain every day. It's just that, it's just that these neurons' life expectancy isn't very high. But there are techniques that we can employ in our daily life to increase the longevity of our neurons. And one of these techniques is called going to the gym. I love it. 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 I love it because recently I've been going to the gym and I've been sticking to this habit and I've been having so much fun. Just the other day, I made a friend at the gym and it was so cool. And now like literally mind body connection is real because when you work on your body, you're literally working on your mind at the same time. Now that I've read this, it's going to supercharge me to go to the gym even more. Because one of the ways to actually grow and sustain that growth of your new neurons is going to the gym. There are lots of other really cool things that you can read about on this article by Dr. Mahad Fohiti, I think it is, on sharpbrains.com. But I just thought it was so cool and I wanted to share this information for you, to you because, you know, I think some of us think that even if we put the work into our brain, we're not going to get the results. And I want to say this. Hippocampus is related to neuroplasticity. Now, neuroplasticity is a concept used to describe your brain's ability to grow and learn and change with the things you do. In order to grow your hippocampus, you have to really work at neuroplasticity. You really have to work on trying to learn new things, trying to do new things, trying to become a person that's different than who you are today. And it can go in either way. You can either grow your brain or you can shrink your brain. Things like depression, anxiety, and all these negative concepts, they actually shrink your hippocampus. But you have the control to decide where you go with your learning in your brain. And it's just so cool. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. Don't forget to check that article down. I'll put a link in the bio to this video. Leave a comment if you like this content. I love responding to comments. Haven't seen any of them recently, but I would love to respond to some comments. Drop that like. Like seeing likes a lot. Real talk. I love it. Share this video with your friends because positivity is so, 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 so underrated. But we can spread the word and make it more popular. And even if you don't do any of these things, just keep coming back. It takes time changing the synapses in your brain. It takes time to grow your hippocampus. It takes time to apply these concepts of neuroposit neuropositivity in a positive way. But together, I believe we can do it. That's it for the video. Bye-bye.